Hello mga kachambular! Welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. This is Eric Skippy. For today's vlog, I'm going to cook once again like Del Monte Kitchenomics. Yan. So for today's recipe, I'm going to cook for you chicken curry. Growing up as a kid, I don't like chicken curry because of the spices that they're using. And it's a little bit spicy, I must say. But I've tried um, cooking two weeks ago and I liked it and I'm not so sure if kids will like this recipe because it is spicy a little bit of a kick I must say so let's proceed to the ingredients and for the ingredients we need one can of coconut milk potato carrots onion minced garlic two tablespoon of curry powder two tablespoon of fish sauce ginger red bell pepper and chicken for the chicken guys you can use drumstick or any other kind of um kind of meat dark or white so meat. we have to put the oil first because we are going to pan fry the potatoes and carrots and then we will set it aside after once the oil is hot you can put now the potato ouch and carrots together it's gonna be quick anyway next is pan fry the chicken and then you can set it aside don't overcook the chicken like frying like fried chicken we just have to cook like four I must say three minutes. Cook the chicken like for three minutes. For as long as now you're not seeing blood in the chicken, it's good to go. Because we're gonna cook later on anyway. So once you are done pan frying the chicken, you can use the pan where the chicken was pan fried to take the garlic onion and ginger let's put first the onion and the ginger and you can put now the garlic I always put the garlic Next on the later is part. Add the chicken, the one that we pan fried a while ago. There you go. Smells so good because of the ginger, garlic, and onions. And now we can put the curry powder. And the fish sauce next is we have to add one cup of water change of accent to British <laughs> so after you add the water simmer until the chicken is tender put in the red bell pepper And the pan fried carrots and potato then simmer for five minutes you can add now the coconut milk it's not easy to take video while cooking guys <laughs> but that's okay and then after you put the coconut milk you can just mix well then simmer for five minutes and there you have it let's see how it tastes mm. 
Mm. It's really good. Anyway, for the so the one that I cooked is good for six people. So I'm just gonna finish it because I'm starving. So I asked a special guest to try it out and he likes it. The chicken is flavorful and moist and it tastes delicious. It has spices. Until next time, mga kachambular. Thank you for watching and stay safe. Bye. Thank you.